Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, it is time right now to get a check of that forecast. It Grace is. Anello is a hardworking woman this morning, <laughs> tracking <laughs> all that she's got going on. Yes, she is. There's a lot happening in the Gulf, and it's headed our way. Right now, I'm tracking Category 1 Hurricane Helene, spinning at 90 miles an hour and tracking north and east. Now, just later today, by this afternoon, Helene's going to undergo something called rapid intensification and move from a Cat 1 to 115 mile an hour Cat 3. Then later on, just this evening, it's going to make impact east of Apalachicola, Florida, right near the Big Bend, bringing the Big Bend region up to 20 feet of storm surge. That is unbelievable and devastating. So pray for the folks in those areas. Because Helene is going to be making landfall as such a large and powerful storm, we're seeing something that we normally don't. Well inland, over the state line and towards Columbus, Georgia, Helene is still a Cat 1 hurricane. It maintains its system all the way well into Georgia. From there, it tracks into Atlanta and tracks toward north of Chattanooga, and at that point, it is a storm. Now, our biggest tornado threat is east in South Carolina. Since we are on the western side of the storm, we're going to see a washout and a whole lot of gusty wind, but our severe weather threat is very low, and that's wonderful news. 518 on your Thursday, and 31 triple Doppler is dry at the moment. What you're seeing is feedback from a radar inversion, a temperature inversion from that radar. The Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, showing those dry conditions. We're dry this morning. We won't be for long, but we are for now. A whole lot of cloud cover and temperatures sitting in the mid 60s. We're feeling a great deal cooler than we were at this exact point yesterday. So you might want a light sweater as you head out the door. I know I did. However, later this afternoon, we'll reach a high temperature of 80, putting us very similar to where we were yesterday, but still well below average. We're going to get through this morning and even much of this afternoon in completely dry conditions. As Helene tracks north of Atlanta, Atlanta later today, that's when we start to see that rain push into our region, entering Sand Mountain around 1, 2 o'clock and tracking west from there. If you live in the Shoals, your evening commute home is virtually unaffected as well. If you live east of I-65, that's not exactly the case. This is Thursday at 6 p.m. That rain continues to track west as we head into the late evening and overnight hours, bringing us the widest spread coverage of rain and the heaviest of that rain overnight tonight. Again, there is not a severe weather weather risk, it's just going to be an absolute washout. We'll keep that rain with us through 7 o'clock on Friday morning and beyond. I'm going to pick up there in just a minute. So the story is today and tomorrow caution days on the threat tracker because of tonight's heavy rain and on again off again rain tomorrow, but in either day has a severe weather risk. On Saturday, we're not completely dry, but we're drying out. So let's pick up on Friday. This is 4 a.m. You can see right where the remnants of Helene will be in east of Atlanta, and we're still getting that rain band. Now, Helene is going to head through Chattanooga, then through Nashville towards Kentucky. As it does so, we continue to get that rain band. It's in our eastern counties, then our northern counties, then by Friday afternoon and evening, it's in the shoals as it kind of makes an arch over us, and then that rain sticks with us Friday night. If you have a 7 o'clock football game for Big Game Friday night tomorrow in the shoals, you're going to want to bring an umbrella with you. Tomorrow's also our gustiest wind day by far, with wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour. If you need a time to bring in those pumpkins and outdoor decorations, Bring them in today because tomorrow you're not going to want them to be outside. Saturday's not completely dry, but it is close. And then Sunday, we're looking at just some very isolated rain. Next week, it's a whole lot of sunshine and temperatures in the low 80s.